We are going to continue modeling the shark by adding the tail. Go back to poly mode. The next step is to extrude the faces from the end of the fish and start extruding to give more definition to this tail and then set up the tail to be able to extrude up the ends of the tail to follow the flow of the shark's tail. These are the faces that we're going to select and set up for our extrude. And remember, we went in and flattened this area to make our extrude easier. So let's select our faces. We'll go into the front view. Go up to Edit Mesh and Extrude. And with our Z axis, we can drag this out. Now I'll go up to my recent commands and say Poly Extrude again and bring this out to the end of the tail. Let's go into Component Mode modify our vertices. I'm going to do the same thing we did before about trying to even out these vertices in this direction, in the Y direction. So I'll grab my scale tool again and with the Y only direction I'll bring this up to the middle to flatten out this area. This is going to enable us to get another extrude set up. I'll do the same on the bottom. I will select my vertices and move them to the position I would like to have them in. Scale them into place. And now you can see the way we have things laid out we have a nice line, an edge line, that we can extrude up this way and follow the edge flow of this tail. And the same with the bottom of the, of the tail. So let's go ahead and add more extrudes for the top of the tail. Select our faces that we want to extrude. And in the front view, let's go to Recent Commands and do our poly extrude. Go back to our vertex and move them into place. With our faces selected again, go to recent commands, poly extrude again and we'll do our final extrude. Grab our vertex and move them into place. Let's do the same on the bottom. We'll grab these faces in the perspective view. Recent commands, poly extrude. I'm just going to drag this all the way down to the tip of the tail. Grab our vertex and move them into position. And I'm going to add an edge loop over here. This is just another way of working. Instead of doing multiple extrudes, as we did on the top part of the tail, you can do one extrude, and now we can go back in and use the Insert Edge Loop tool to add definition. Now 
Now our tail looks pretty good. We could use another edge loop over here, because you can see there's more of a curve here that we're not able to get with the amount of edge loops that we have in this section. So let's add another edge loop. We'll go to Recent Commands, Split Edge Ring Tool, and we'll add one right about here. And let's go back to our vertex mode, and let's just move these guys into place. Now let's take a look at what our shark looks like in the perspective view. And right off the bat, you can see our tail is looking pretty good, but it's very thick. So we need to go in and adjust the scaling of our vertices along the Z axis. So let's go to our top view. Let's go back to poly mode and zoom in so we can see what's going on here. And let's go back to vertex mode and start scaling these vertices in the Z direction. We're really just following the contour of our picture. Looks like we might have some tweaking over here. Now let's go in and see what it looks like in the perspective view. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to end this here, and the next video will pick up working on the dorsal fin.